So I've been toying with the idea of doing a YouTube tutorial on making fried chicken forever because it's like the one thing that I can do that I think is bang on anyway. So I made some last week, it was nice and sunny. We took the deep fat fire outside and everyone on my Instagram was like, can you tell me how to make this? It looks sensational. First things first, we need to wash our hands. Make sure you do that before you do anything. Uh, just, yeah. Wash your hands nice and clean. And when you've done that, you wanna wash the chicken. Whether or not you cut the chicken up is completely up to you. I like to just because I prefer the flat sides to the drumette. So I'll usually cut them all up eat all the flat sides and then give the drumettes to everyone else. But some people just like having the whole wing to themselves, so by all means you can keep it like that. But yeah, once you've cut them all up or not cut them up, um, just give them a good wash, make sure they're all nice and clean, there's no blood and weird stuff going on there. And then you just wanna pat it down with a paper towel, make sure it's like relatively dry, just get all the excess moisture out of there and then you're good to go. So the first step, you wanna get your flour prepped. There's two parts to this, there's the flour and then there's the extra crunchy coating that we're gonna to get to later on. So there are lots of chicken coatings you can buy, you can make your own, it's super easy. I sometimes make my own, but this brand is really good and you can get it from pretty much any Tesco. Uh, it's usually in the world foods aisle with like all the Jamaican kind of stuff. You wanna make sure that all the chicken is coated enough that when you pick it up, it shouldn't be sticky. It should be like very kind of powdery and dusty. So depending on the amount of chicken you're using, you might wanna use a fair bit. I am doing a ludicrous amount of chicken today. Uh, just because. But essentially, you just don't wanna be stingy with it. Make sure you've covered it a decent amount. Make sure you're using like a decent Tupperware that you can close and then just give it a good shake. Make sure it's all coated or you can just roll it around by hand, but I just like shaking it up, it feels fun. And yes, once that is all coated and you're happy with it, put that to one side because now you need to make your egg wash. Usually about like two large eggs is fine and then you can top it up with some milk or water to make a really good egg wash so you've got like like a nice amount to kind of dip in. And this is where my first weird tip comes in. Uh, I randomly did this the last time I made it and it worked out pretty cool. Once you've got your egg wash, take a little tin of jalapenos and just pour in a bit of the jalapeno juice and it just gives it like a little kick. It's kind of weird, but it's actually really sick. And it's just like the juice or brine or whatever that it's in. So it's just got a little bit of that flavor. So it's more flavor than spice really. So, but if you want it to be a bit spicy, then by all means, uh, hot sauce, Tabasco, like whatever you want. Now, time for the part that when I put it on Instagram, everyone was like, what is this? What are you doing, mate? But trust me, I've been working on this for the past several years and this is how you get the crunch. This is what makes KFC irrelevant to my life. I don't even care that they're all closed during lockdown because this is what makes it way, way better. What you wanna do is you wanna get a tub of Pringles. To be honest, you can use any potato chip crisp you want, but Pringles just seem to have the best texture for me. And if you get the original, then you know what you're getting. It's just straight down the middle. Obviously, I'm all about being weird and jazzy. So like, if you wanna use cool rice, or whatever weird Dorito random flavor, like go for it, try it out, let me know how it is. But for today, I'm just using like Pringles, ready salted, original, whatever it is, just standard. Poured them into the bowl and then literally just crunched up in my hands. Once you've crunched up the Pringles, this is totally optional, but I like to just throw in a bit of corn flour um, and also just a bit of chip spice. My Northern friends introduced me to chip spice years ago and and apparently they literally put it on everything up north. It's mainly paprika, but it's got a few other spices in there and salt and stuff like that. But yeah, if you can find chip spice anywhere, then that is the one just to give it a little bit of extra vibe, you know? I use corn flour just because it gives it like a little extra puff around the Pringles and just kind of encoats it all. Um, so yeah, you can do that if you want it a little bit of a softer texture. And then once that's done, just give yourself a little wash off. Like Pringles are actually really greasy. I didn't realize until I started using them. Like you're just eating crisps and they feel pretty dry, but when you're actually crunching several Pringles with your hands, 
you got like this weird oily residue on your hands and it's like really gross. So yeah, wash yourself off and then this is the part that has taken me a long time to figure out. It's very tedious and it's actually the part that I hate the most out of this whole process just because it takes so long. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your wings that you've coated in flour, you're gonna dip that into the egg wash and then you're gonna dip that into your crisps. It sounds very simple and it doesn't sound like a ball lake at all, but if you are like me and you like cutting corners, you may be tempted to do one of two things. Either try and do five or six wings at a time in the egg wash and then into the Pringles and then try and fry them that way, or you're just gonna dump all the egg wash into the bowl of wings and just try and get them all done at once. I promise you that both of these things will not work in your favor and you'll mess it up like I have done several times. The only way to get through this nice and effectively is to literally do one wing at a time. That way you're not getting any stuff into each bowls because the minute you start getting the egg wash and the Pringles kind of mixed up, they just kind of clam up and get really gross and that's not what you want. And then when you try and fry it, they just all come off. What you want is just really nice, clean dips. Make sure it's coated well and don't be lazy. Don't try and do several at one time because it's just gonna mess up the whole thing. What I found to be the best way is once you've done all the dipping, just put it onto a separate plate so that when you go to put it in your fryer, you can do them at like five or six at a time and you're not scrambling around trying to do several things at once. So take your time with it, make sure they're all good, nice and consistent, and then just leave them to the side for when you're ready. So you've successfully prepped all of your chicken. They are ready to be cooked. I personally have a deep fat fryer in my household. It's so easy, literally just set it to 160 degrees Celsius. I don't know the Fahrenheit, so I'm gonna Google it and put it on the screen right now. So yeah, set it to 160 and then literally just dunk them in and you're good to go. If you don't have a deep fat fryer, you can use a frying pan. Just make sure it's deep enough that you can coat it in about two inches of oil, maybe? Basically enough that you can at least kind of coat half of the chicken in and then you maybe want to turn it over halfway. But if you are going to use a pan, make sure you have one of those thermostats and you can make sure that it's set to exactly 160 because that is the perfect perfect temperature that I have found for fried chicken. What oil you use doesn't really matter. I know a lot of Americans use canola oil, which is called rapeseed oil in the UK, which I recently found. Uh, today I'm using corn oil. I have used sunflower oil in the past. Don't use olive oil because that will be really, really expensive. But yeah, pretty much any decent oil you can get your hands on, dunk that in there and you're good to go. And then from this point, you're plain sailing. It's happy as Larry. You have successfully made the most mwah, Beautiful fried chicken, my friend. So I'd say this is uh, this is a success. Let's uh, dig in. Mm. I do like these. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. The meat is cooked very well. Super white. Whoa, okay. <laughs> That's how juicy it is. It just slipped right out of my hand, man. Oh, oh. Hell yeah. Oh my God. Right, I hope this video has been somewhat coherent. I actually want to see some of these, so if you do make them, tag me on Instagram or Twitter. Um, all my links are below. I have been Morwin, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one, which will probably be more music related or at least somewhat on brand for this channel. But thank you for watching regardless. Mwah, too sweet, bye.